Hey, welcome back. Cup of Joe? Yeah, you know. Filling up the old water tanks. 7.24. I got here at like, you know, 2.30 in the morning because I'm just ready. No, guys, we uh, sprayed about 155 acres yesterday out of a 320-ish acre plot of alfalfa. So we're going to get going early today, try to get that knocked out by one or two. That's the goal. I don't know. See how everything goes. We're going to hot start basically a uh, 100 gallons of chemical here in a minute when we get our tanks full. Head down to the field, get the bird, the drone, this guy up in that sky, start spraying its heart out. We're gonna be filling, changing batteries. We're gonna show you how it's done. Come on. Okay, so one of the big issues and a huge topic that comes up all the time when it comes to drone spraying is the pivot situation. The pivot, okay? So when you map a field, and this is what I had to do today, is this pivot on my map is swung all the way, I believe down here actually. So how do I do that? Well, I got a pivot that's in the way now, but it's not in the picture of my map. So what I did, and this is probably the most efficient way. I take my drone, okay, with an empty tank, and I'll fly a direct beeline down the middle of this pivot. That gives me a boundary to look by whenever I'm setting my AB points, okay? Another thing, I'm gonna show you on, on my screen here, I know it's kinda hard to see, but this field that I'm spraying currently, it has zero boundaries as far as a tree line or if I zoom in over here there's a road right there's nothing that is no no type of boundary so this is all planted in wheat here so I did the exact same thing I got the drone in the air and I flew a complete outer boundary of our alfalfa that we're spraying that gave me a an a b line on the map that I could follow okay like I said We've already covered almost 120 acres today. Got started around 8.30, it's 12. We're moving along extremely great. We're flying about 2,800 feet down and that's kind of where it's been on all these fields as far as getting a full, you know, wide range of a swath. So 2,800 down, 2,800 back, and usually I'm, I'm having to, to refill and change batteries because I wouldn't be able to, on a, on a full tank, wouldn't be able to go down and back again, but still it's the most efficient way. And uh, like I said, we've got 37 acres left and we're done for the day. We've covered 300 and roughly, it'll be 325, 330 acres in right at probably a full day total. So moving over ground when it comes to drone spraying, extremely efficient as long as you can get your trailer to your starting point. A lot of times there's issues as far as, you know, can I get down 
to meet my drone. Because if I only have one starting point, which could be a quarter mile down the road or a half mile down the road, and I'm having to have a starting point that's a half a mile down the road, you're gonna have issues. You, it's very manageable and you can do it, but as long as there's an access road or something boundary around the field, you're in good shape. Tell me what you're doing there, Slick. Cleaning out the old tanks. Yeah. Cleaning out the old tanks. Hey, after a long day of spraying, each tank, this is our mixing tank, will get cleaned. We didn't touch our small hopper tank that we usually fill. So we all we fed all of our chemicals from up top. So we are flushing the lines from our main pump all the way to our drum, to our filler hose, everything will get cleaned. And just like that, 300 plus acres is ran over and done. We have cleaned our mixing tank, guys, as you can tell. Still got some water running out, but that is a conclusion of what we did today. I know it was short and sweet, but we hit some main points as far as mapping, you know, big obstacles such as pivots and maybe not have auto boundary lines that you can mark. We created our own. So that's pretty much a wrap on the day. Please subscribe, follow my channel, and we are gonna be pushing out content over and over during spring, eat my shorts, spring season. Sorry, can't be perfect for you guys. And uh, basically, if you have anything that you maybe have a question about, you're looking to get into spraying with a drone, hey, show me some love in those comments. I can definitely help you in an absolute astronomical way because I've been through it, went through the licensing and everything, okay? Thank you. See you next time.